Have you ever wondered? How smart are you compared to other people? Maybe you are smarter than you think you are. Here are the top 10 signs that you are secretly a genius. Some of which are definitely gonna surprise you. Number 1 Messy Handwriting The brain works at a certain speed. A genius's brain works at a speed which is faster than the average human. One of the indicators of having a faster brain is messy handwriting. A messy handwriting tends to mean that your brain works faster than the average person. Your hand couldn't keep up with the speed that your brain thinks it. That's why the most brilliant minds have some of the worst handwriting. Number 2. You have good humor. Your brain loves to laugh. Humor is a good way to indicate a smart brain. A deep emotional intelligence is needed to pull off a good joke, knowing where, when and how and also understanding what it is that makes a good joke. The brighter a brain is, the darker one's humor is. A smart brain is needed to understand the irony found in darker humor and sense what it is that makes it funny. It takes more intelligence to do that. Dark humor not only signifies a clever brain but people with dark humor tend to have lower aggression levels and a more stable mood. Number 3. Empathy. Empathy, is the ability to experience things from someone else's perspective, is one of the key components of emotional intelligence. Genius people have a lot of empathy towards others. The cause of this is that they have a high amount of emotional intelligence. They understand what people feel and can easily sympathize because it is processed quickly in their mind. So they are much more sensitive to people's thoughts than the average Joe. A genius's emotional intelligence not only means that they can understand people well, but they also have a high amount of self-control in mood swings and aggression. Number 4. You don't fit in with society. Do you have different interests from your friends? You feel like most people don't understand you. You have different music tastes than most people. You know about a lot of things that most people don't. You ask yourself a lot, why won't they understand me? Does that sound like you? If so, then you might just be a genius. Geniuses are among the 0.1% of people. Being different isn't really a bad indicator. It might just mean that you are part of that 0.1%. By being different you think differently. That unique way of thinking is why you're a genius. By thinking in ways that other people don't. That's what makes a genius. Number 5. You talk to yourself a lot. Some of you may think that someone who talks to themselves may have lost their mind. But on the contrary, talking to yourself out loud is a common trait in a genius. Talking out loud signifies that we have a healthy and working brain. A brain that is working hard to process new and creative ideas, new innovation, and different ways of thinking to create or design. It helps to be vocal about your thoughts, it helps you channel your thoughts to let you achieve a genius-like thinking. Number 6. You are naturally curious. Being curious is a pretty good sign that you're a genius. Being curious is also the reason that you're smart in the first place. Through your curiosity is where you develop and your intelligence increases. When you're a specialist in one aspect like cars, you are not just into cars. You might be interested in bikes. Or cooking as well. You can have a medical degree and when you see a documentary about the ancient Egyptians you would sit there and binge the whole thing. You don't have a limit as to being curious. It's also not just that you love learning new things, you remember the things you learn and when the topic comes up you bless others with your knowledge too. Number 7. You overthink a lot. Being smart comes with a lot of burden too. Geniuses tend to overanalyze things and tend to make scenarios to make sense of a subject. During a decision they often rethink about a choice they have made because of a small aspect. If you often have uncertain thoughts or questions that you feel like you just can't let go until a sensible answer comes up, you might just be a genius. Those questions can vary from useless and random things like, why does Swiss cheese have holes? To philosophical questions like, why are we alive? For most people these questions may just be useless questions for them to think about after watching a documentary. But nevertheless for geniuses the questions just keep on coming. Number 8. You are more of a night owl than a morning bird. Have you ever felt a sudden burst of energy at night? 
No it's not because of the espresso you drank three days ago. That sudden burst of energy and sometimes creativity is a sign that you have the mind of a genius. Their brain only allows them to nap in the day and in the night, they are often too tapped in to turn off their brain and sleep. They get their most creative and innovative ideas at night. Their minds never seem to rest even when it is time to sleep, it is common for geniuses to only sleep for 2 to 4 hours at night because of this, but even with those 2 to 4 hours they still manage to operate and perform well in channeling their ideas and creation. Number 9. You tend to isolate yourself from others. Nowadays it's really hard to find silence when there's chaos every day, there's work and other tasks, throw in social commitment to the mix like, invites or parties. There's not really a lot of time to be alone. People with genius qualities tend to isolate themselves. They find that in silence they can really be with themselves and enjoy their own thoughts and imagination. That's why being shy or socially awkward tends to mean that you have a quality that most geniuses have. Granted, not all shy people are geniuses but most geniuses tend to be shyer than most people. If you are one then it's a pretty good sign that you might be a genius. Number 10. You daydream a lot more than other people. Do you often set aside time to think about an idea or imagine scenarios? Do you often find yourself indulged in a daydream time after time? If the answer is yes, then you might be a genius, only geniuses find themselves in those kinds of scenarios. Daydreaming signifies that you have a mind that has lots of creative thoughts and likes to explore its own creativity and thoughts. What do you think? Are you one of the hidden geniuses? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching and keep wondering.